action. Hey everyone. Welcome back to an episode of Crate with Linda. So I'm coming on guys because I'm doing some gardening today and um, I, I did a lot already and didn't film so I said to my husband maybe I should film and he said yeah maybe you should. I mean he so, says yeah. Whatever so I'm on it now. So what I'm doing is is I'm filling these things. I put one did one with parsley, one with basil, and now I'm gonna do one with green onion. I have cilantro, but I don't want to use a whole container. Did you plant a new bill? For cilantro because I mean I'd probably get a small pot for this because I don't use cilantro a lot, you know, and it says you I don't think you I don't, can you freeze cilantro? I think you can, but I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna do um, green onions. Never, made, never, um, I never grew these before, so I'm just gonna stick them in this pot. It has a loose soil, and this is pretty loose, so this is what I'm gonna do. So, I did. Uh, so I'm gonna show you in a minute the ones that I did already. Um, this is green onion. Okay. So you know, guys, I don't like. I'm not like I told you. Last year and the year before, I'm not a professional gardener. I don't pretend to be. I, I just do. do it how I want to do it. And I really have very good success mostly, so I'm not worried. So we'll just do the way I do it and whatever happens, happens. Because that's just how it is. So yeah. So it says just a loose soil, so I just put those in here. I don't know, I, don't know. I, I only put one each in here. I'm, I'm thinking like I should put another packet in each. I might go to the store and and get a, a couple of more packets, one package for each each. Because I don't know, it's a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot of seeds for one. But the only way I'm going to know is by growing them. But I don't want to take the time to grow them and then not have what I want. You know what I mean? So these are cheap. So they're like four for a dollar. So I think I'm going to go back and get. I'm going to do the end of um, go back and get more just to put one more packet in each so um, I have these little things that I'm putting yeah. in um, marking them and putting them what they are so this way I know I got to do that in my big thing because I always every year I always I always get lost and I never know what is what until it comes up and I forget and all that other stuff green onion Close to rain, so I'm just, Where's it's, um, I don't know, you have to two right now. Just trying to get some stuff done. So. I think it's probably this. This is the green onion. Now, why are they all there? I'm going to go put this on the table over there while I have the I other ones, it. and then I'll show you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So I'm going to start with putting some tomato seeds in this um, thing right here. Um, so I dug out some of the dirt. Let's see, wait. All right. So what I'm doing is these. Went in the basement. And again, I'm not a professional gardener. And I'm just doing it the way I do it. And I know some people might say to me, Linda, you're doing it wrong. Linda, you should have been this way. Linda, you it is what it is, guys. This is how I plant every year. And again, I have an abundance usually all the time. So I'm not worried. So this is what I'm going to do. to be honest usually I like to get the plants the tomato plants we start off with tomato plants not seed because I like to see I like it to be quick so I like to see some growth so seeds are kind of a I'm very impatient what 
No. Seeds are very impatient. Uh, I mean, I'm very, I'm very impatient. <laughs> so to wait for the seeds, it's a little annoying, but it is what it is this year. Plants are much more expensive. They're really, really outrageous. And I just can't swing it. So the seeds are gonna have to be what it is and it'll be fine. It's facing this way. It's not facing. So I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Tomatoes is really what I, I love. I always started with tomatoes. Love to plant tomatoes. Always had a good abundance of them. So I'm going to put a little thing up here where I put the tomatoes. Um, let me go get the thing and then I'll, I want to label it first before I do anything else. Come on. All right. So I did some other tomatoes. Now I'm going to do these, the little, little, um, you know, little yeah. tiny tomatoes. Yeah. Come here, cool boy. Hey, don't even think about it, mister. Don't even think about it. Because I know you. This is not your playground when it's summer time, okay? Just not. Ah. It's just not. Hey, leave me alone. Why do you have to touch everything? I didn't put tomato sign. I gotta put a sign on each thing here. Cherry tomatoes and the other tomatoes. dirt all on my sock. All right, how do I know if it's taping or not? Yeah, it's, you see the numbers moving? No. 
Right there in the middle, the number's moving on the bottom. On the bottom. Oh, okay. I guess I shouldn't be doing this with Crocs on, huh? Maybe sneakers. Where's Kumbar? There's Kumbar, though. Where is That chair is comfortable. It's alright. It's alright? Kidding. Alright, guys. Alright. I'm gonna um, squeeze Just cilantro in over here because I don't really. Like I said, I don't. It's not the most important herb to me. But. comes up. I got a little space here, so I might as well use it. I'll tell you what I have in here so far. You didn't put a sign on the other side the one you did. Yeah, I did. You did? Oh, right there. I think you did one in the middle, too. I put it in the middle because it's peppers. I put, I did two spots with peppers. Okay. Is that okay? I, I don't care. I just didn't want you to miss I know. Miss and, and you know what? If I if it if it fades away like it did last year, I just it is what it is. You know what, Lynn? Whatever. Whatever comes up, right. we'll see what it is, obviously. Remember I didn't even remember I had string beans. All of a sudden I'm like, what are those? And I'm like looking and I'm looking at the plant and I'm like, oh my god, there's string beans on these freaking plants. I didn't even remember what I planted, guys, when I did the seeds last year. I did only only tomato plant. The only plant plants I did was tomato plants. All the others were seeds. So I but and I didn't remember because I had put the papers in here and they blew away and everything. You know I put these things in here like really they're gonna stay in the in the summer with the rain and everything. And so I really wasn't sure what I uh, what I had until I saw it. All right, guys. Very excited. Uh. All right, so now I just want to um, put a little sign that says cilantro. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be able to see it because it's going to be covered. end up being covered by uh, all the other stuff, you know, all the cilantro. All right, guys, so right now I have, I'll top show you what I have here. I got tomatoes over here. I got more tomatoes over there. I got, where are the cherry tomatoes? Large tomatoes, are those the cherry tomatoes? I didn't put a sign up for the cherry tomatoes. <laughs> oh, they're over there. <laughs> no, the, the cherry tomatoes are over there. I got regular tomatoes here and regular tomatoes here. Then I have peppers in the middle here and I have cilantro. And then I have yellow, um, yellow string beans in the middle right here. So that's all that's going in here. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my zucchini because. Yellow string beans? I've never heard of yellow string beans. Yeah, the yellow string beans. Yeah, I've never heard of before. Yeah. That's um, no question. <laughs> I raised my hand. No questions allowed. I raised my hand. And um, last time, last year, or not what, wasn't last year, the year before that, I had put tomatoes and I put zucchini in here, and the zucchini just took over. I mean, there's a lot, there were a lot, it was just crazy. So I don't know where I'm gonna put the zucchini. If I put them in the tires, I don't know if they're gonna do good in the tires. What is this for? What is this for? Whatever. <laughs> you go. I do know a little bit about gardening. So where am I gonna do my zucchini then? 
Well, we're gonna have to dig it. Ground plant. Yeah, I grow it in there all the time. Right. Ours is not gonna be enough room. Well, we're gonna have to get something else because I need to put my zucchini in somewhere. Mm. All right, guys. So I think that's all I'm gonna do today. I have the tires with dirt in them. I need a little bit more dirt. We went and got more dirt today, but I need a little bit more dirt. I'm thinking I'm gonna be digging out the degree out of the in the backyard here because I'm not gonna go spend more money on dirt. I have I can't really. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So. But I have a few more things that I want to plant. So maybe I'll just get some round planters. But the problem is, is that I, I, I have to make sure that they can fit in there. All right, all right, I'll, I'll figure it out. What? Yeah, I'm gonna Google it. Cause I have, um, honestly guys, I have, I'll show you. I have a lot more to plant. I have zucchini, I have yellow squash. Mm. You know, I, I, I could plant them in other places if Coop, if I could make sure that Cooper wouldn't bother my stuff, but he's bad. He's bad. So I can't just, you know, I got, wherever I do, I got to put it in a secured place where he's not going to knock it over and everything else. Anyway, I have zucchini, I have squash, um, I have freaking winter squash. I don't think I'm going to be able to plant all these this year, I really don't. Cantaloupe. I have no idea. I never, I never did cantaloupe. I got these cucumbers, English cucumbers, which I have to do. I have to have cucumbers because I use so many of them. Um, they say they grow best around a fence. So I don't, the only fence I have is the fence that's over there with the tires. So I don't know. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, um, um, research it and see because I really, really want my cucumbers. So I got cucumbers, like I said. Carrots. I got more pepper. I got carrots. I got more peppers. Um, carrots. Um, and I have green beans. The green green beans. And these, they said, if you soak them overnight, they'll um, they'll come up quicker. So I'm gonna soak these overnight tonight, and then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to get them into the tires. Um, just string beans so and I have watermelon I have cauliflower and I just bought those because they were four for a dollar you know so I just got them all so I don't have to use them all but um, I would like to I also got um, radishes which I'm the only one who eats radishes but I like radishes so I got radishes and I got cauliflower I've never grown cauliflower I don't know what the story is with it and I got watermelon which last year I grew a watermelon and it grew very small but I did have one watermelon, so I'm gonna probably just do that. So I don't know, guys. We'll see. But on another note, I think I should, I don't know if I showed you guys. Um, I planted these flowers the other day. All these flowers, you know, from the Dollar Tree. And look, it's like not even, two, it's not even a day. It's not even two days. And look at it, it's coming up ready. Very exciting. Stuff on the nail. Yeah. What? You gotta get that nail out of there. So I think what I'm gonna yeah, do is I'm gonna use these two containers here, or one of the containers. I have more soil left, so I'm just gonna put the rest of the flowers in here and let them grow. You better seal that all the well, way down. I might as well do that. I'm saying that's a good Because I'm not gonna use these for um, the vegetable plants. You know what I mean? All right, guys. So I'm gonna pause a minute and then. Um, we're gonna figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. I'm just gonna make this a what's for dinner as well. So I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, so I'm in the kitchen now. I was gonna barbecue, but it's getting a little cloudy out there. I think it's gonna rain and I don't wanna be bothered. So I'm cooking in the house. What I'm gonna make is, um, Billy's having a couple of brats, Frankie's having hot dogs, and I'm having my chicken sausage. This is sweet apple chicken sausage. I don't know if you've, ever, if you've ever had it, guys. If you're new here, I've showed it before. It's delicious. Have it. Oh, my God. Try it. It's amazing. Um, so I'm going to have these. I'm going to make some tater tots as well in the oven. Um, I'm going to make some mixed vegetables. 
I don't know. I, I'm not going to have tear this out. I'm going to make these mixed vegetable. And I'm going to... Um, yeah. And I'm going to uh, probably make a, either a sweet potato or um, a regular small potato. I don't know. I don't really feel like tater tots. So, yeah. So, what I'm doing is I'm, the brats are frozen, and so um, I'm going to boil them a little bit in here and let them like slow simmer, boil, and then just cook them, um, just cook them for a minute or two to get them a little brown, not really, because hubby likes them a little soft. So, I'm going to just boil them on there. These... The hot dogs and the chicken sausage I'm going to put in the toaster oven and these are going to go in the oven. And that's what we're doing. This is going to go in the microwave. This is broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. I might, what I might do is I might steam them most of the way and then put them in a frying pan with a little oil and garlic. I like that. I like the, you know, the flavor of that. Other than just, you know, with whatever, just plain. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But I'm going to put them in the microwave first. I just actually um, made a bag of carrots in the microwave. Cooper. Because um, he needs some carrots for his dinner. I used all the sweet potatoes. I think I don't have any more sweet potatoes left. I don't think so. So, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to wait for the oven to heat up. And then I'll put the potatoes in. Yeah, these chicken sausage guys, ooh, they're so freaking good. I'm actually gonna take two out. They're frozen, so. I'm gonna take, try to get two out, and then, uh, cause I'm only making two. For myself. Nobody else eats these but me. Because my family just thinks they're not, they're, you know. I think my husband's tried these before. I don't think he really likes them. He's not crazy about the chicken sausage. I love it. Especially this one. They have sweet apple, which is this one. They have um, honey maple apple or maple or apple, something like that. Or honey something. They have all kinds of different flavors of these, but this is, Julie turned me on to this one, she's like, Mom, you gotta try those freaking chicken sausage, and, um, I did, and I was like, oh my god, I think I'm gonna put this in the frost, in the microwave just for a minute, to defrost it a little bit, so I can get them apart. Yeah, I have water in here, but I think I'm going to put some flavor in it. So I had a pretty productive day today. Today was, uh, was, was um, a little less stressful. We had to go drop off something up at the doctor's office this morning. And then we came home and um, I just, devil, I just delved, delved right into my garden. And I figured I was feeling good, so I might as well get it done, started. And I feel very good about what I got done today. And then um, hopefully the weather tomorrow will be good enough to do some stuff. I don't know, we're, we're looking at, we're um, expecting rain. I think it's even gonna rain on Mother's Day. So comment down below what you guys are gonna do for Mother's Day. We're just gonna stay home. Either I'm gonna cook or they wanna cook for me, I don't know. I have trouble with that. I have trouble rel relinqu relinquishing the control of not being able to cook and stuff. So last year, I think I cooked for myself too, which I was, they were mad, but I did it anyway. And I think I might do it this year, so. Yeah. Because I just can't, I just can't not cook. <laughs> I know guys, I have issues. I gotta get some more ice in here.
So I put a thing of mango madness in here. It's a, it's a zero calorie um, thing. I had water, I was drinking water, but sometimes I like to switch off with water, but sometimes I, you know, cause that sugary stuff isn't so great for you. I mean, this is zero calorie, so it's fine, but it just, um, I don't know, I like to switch off and have water once in a while. All right, so, yeah, so I got these two here. I can get these two out now, so this way I can put them in the, um, in the toaster oven. The rest I'll just put back in the freezer because they're still frozen. Everything's kind of stable right now um, with Bill. Just got to keep an eye on him. And he's, got, he's taking all his medicines and kind of taking it easy. We did a little bit out in the yard today. He actually pulled out his um, um, his electric uh, um, lawnmower, and I was pushing it around. It was really easy. It was fun. I did a lot of the lawn. He did just a little tiny piece but because he can't do, can't do much, you know. But he needed to do something, and he helped me with my garden. He put, he put up the, the fencing and all of that. So we, we feel better. We got a little stuff done today, and, you know, we feel a little productive. It's always nice to feel a little productive, even, you know, when you're down and out. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know. All I know is that, I, all I know is that I don't know. Well, I just think that, I just remembered I have um, some cookie that was spilt in the oven yesterday that I didn't take out. And now it's burning, I could smell it a little bit. So let me get it out of here. Yesterday, when I did a cookie. Oh, look, it's in the bath back there. Right, let me do something here. Got that out of there. If you don't get it out of there, that's gonna end up starting on fire. That's what happens. Alright. Get those tacos out. This freezer, there's cigarettes. Yeah. these back in the freezer. I'll put them up here. They were in the downstairs freezer, but alright, so be right. Alright, so instead of putting the um, 
instead of putting the vegetables in the uh, microwave, I'm just gonna put them in here and let them come to a boil for three minutes. And then I'm gonna um, put some olive oil and garlic in there with it. The potatoes went in, uh, in the oven. Let these boil. And yeah, that's what we're doing. Um, let me get the pan out. Um, I'm going to put the hot dogs. Getting the ice, there's some ice on them. The, the, I'm gonna actually put the brats on, um, not the brats, the sausage on first because they take a little bit longer, but um, I usually air fry these. I'm wondering if I'm gonna grill, if I should just grill them. Yeah, I'll just grill them tonight. You were so quiet, I thought I want to make sure you were okay. Just checking on just checking on the hubby. I want to show you guys something. Courtney from our little gingerbread house. Love you, Courtney. She sent me a little gift yesterday, so sweet. She sent me this ring, a couple other things too. Women things, so. And this ring she sent me says, keep, I don't know if you could see it. You can read it, keep effing going. I absolutely love it. It fits me perfectly. And every time I look at it, I say, oh my God, that's so great. And she said to me, Linda, that's why I sent it to you because I wanted you to say, I want you to see it and keep effing going. I love it so much. It's so cute. And she gave me, she sent me a necklace um, as well. It's adorable. I'll go in and get it in a minute. I love it. Um, this beautiful heart necklace. And like I said, so sweet. But this, I love. It was like made for me. Keep effing going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I look at it, I'll remember to keep going, Courtney. Thank you. So, so thoughtful. But what else is new with Courtney? She's such a thoughtful, 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 beautiful lady. Anyway, go check out her channel. Courtney from Our Little Gingerbread House. Go check her out. Um, all right, so now this is just a big waiting game, really. Um, Cooper had a little bit of his dry food a few minutes ago, so... I don't think he's gonna be ready to have his wet food yet. You know, his, his other food yet. But um, if he seems interested, then I'll I'll get it for him. So yeah, like I said, I kind of feel good better today. I feel like I got something to accomplish, feel okay mentally right now. And um, 
Just plugging along, guys. Just plugging along. Waiting for spring and summer. And well, spring is here, finally, hopefully. And uh, just, you know, doing what we can do. And that's it. All right, so I'm just going to wait for this food to be done. The peanut, the peanut butter. The um, tater tots are in the oven. Oh, let me go back and see if I have like a baked potato or something that I want, maybe. Yeah, I think I think I went, let, let, let me go see what I got. So guys, I'm putting, um, I put a little olive oil in here. Um, the vegetables are bought, you know, are basically cooked. So I'm gonna do a little olive oil. I'm going to put um, some garlic, well, um, minced garlic in there. I'm gonna put a little piece of butter in here too, guys. I also put a, um, a baked potato and a sweet potato in the oven while, while the tater tots are cooking. Um, and when the tater tots are done, I'll just put them in the microwave the, the rest of the way because they're, they're not going to cook in time. I just put them in there just, to, just because I have the oven on right now. My brats are cooking. Mm, smells so good. Not my brats, my, my chicken sausage is cooking. Billy's brats are cooking. <laughs> so yeah, dinner's gonna be ready shortly. Probably about 10, about 15 minutes. And we're gonna eat and I'll show you it. Alright guys, so here is my dish. I got my chicken apples, sweet apple chicken sausage, yummo, a half a baked potato and some veggies with some sweet and sour sauce. Hubby's dinner is over there. And there's the Cooper butt. Alright, we're going to eat and um, I'll come back in a minute and say goodbye.